thing. Nice of you to show up. Oh. Dogs are anxious already. Oh, that makes two of us. Are you anxious? Yes. For this long, long drive that we got going on. <laughs> Not looking forward to that. Did you go poop yet? I did. Did you? That's nice. Wow. I guess this beast up already. All gassed up. So the plan. Oh, you brought your poop shovel. I did. I, and I mounted on the Rhino Rack uh, cleat hitches things, which I don't know the name. This time I brought uh, warm clothes. Good. You brought a jacket? Yeah. Good. Just okay, perfect. Well, let's get the road. What's going on, Gene? Huh? What's going on? Gotta get some water for the dogs. Ah. Okay. Uh, sure, why not? Got it. So, currently at the rest stop, first rest stop, pit stop for the dogs. Take me to go pee pee. Then we pee peed. Now we're gonna hit the road. And yeah. Only seven and a half, six and a half hours left to reach Vegas. We're at Murray Family Farms. Gene says they have some really good empanadas here. Yep. So we're gonna try them out. Hopefully they are here. They're like the size of his face. Oh, <gasps> they're pretty small then. <laughs> this is really heavy. This is really heavy. Here you go. Oh look, I'm in front of the camera now. Breakfast? Yes, please. You want it with a combo? With uh, no. the drink? No? Just one, please. Yes. These look good. What'd you get? Breakfast pie? Ah, yeah, I don't know which one I get. Eat first. I'm just gonna dig into both. All right, dude, those empanadas we just had were bomb, man. A little salty, but uh, they're pretty good, man. Especially the sides that uh, came with macaroni and cheese. Oh my God, it was really good. Which one did you like the best? <laughs> I really liked the turkey breakfast one. That was actually pretty good. The egg one was really salty, uh, but the turkey, I mean, it, it felt like an actual full cooked meal. Yeah, I gotta try the turkey next time. That was the Thanksgiving one, right? I wasn't even paying attention and I ordered those two sides. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she said just only one. Or both, well, then you said what? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I didn't do that. I don't want to be a dick and be like, alright. You gotta take this back, lady. 
is Carlos the one that uh, introduced me to that place. Oh, that guy. For those that don't know, yeah, Carl, that guy. <laughs> Carlos is uh, Delta Wood Bombers. I'm pretty sure on Instagram. Oh, so he's the one that brought you out here on a date. Yeah, yeah. No, we, where were we? Oh, we were going up to uh, Lone Pine, actually. <laughs> so the plan is we're about, what, three hours away, I think? Four hours from Vegas. I'm about 200 and like 30 miles away. need gas I have 60 miles left um, I'm just gonna put once we get closer to a bigger city because I'm not paying five dollars for a gallon gas yeah no way screw that hell no fuck no hell to the no yeah I'll be fine I hope No, but I know we just made it to Utah. Well, technically, no, we're still in Arizona, actually, if you think about oh, it. Unless we pass the sign. Yeah. But what's an inch? Finally made it to Utah. Kind of, sort of. We might still be in Arizona side, but whatever. Just made it to the Utah sign. We're gonna do some camping tonight. We're gonna go to Walmart, get some food, get some steaks. Get some steaks, veggies, eggs for tomorrow morning, too. We'll do some camping. Uh, around Dixie National Forest. Never been there. You been there, Gene? No. We've never been there, so we're gonna explore the area, see what there is, have some fun. 
then the next morning, well tomorrow morning, then we'll drive up towards Moab and do some camping there too. Hopefully the weather cooperates. I said hopefully the weather cooperates. Yeah, I hope so too. left I think maybe eight hours something I don't know anymore so we're here at the famous Red Cliff site where we ghost hunters are gonna go check it out <laughs> ghost hunters I'm too tired to keep driving are you tired Gene totally yeah we've been Just... behind the wheel for 13 hours so we're here at Red Rock Red Red Cliff Red Cliff campground it's uh easy to get to campground uh no off-road no overlanding but we're tired to keep driving so this is our safest bet so we don't keep driving really tired we just need to pay our fee get our campsite and call it a night hope that's the view in the morning yeah we'll find out man can you imagine yeah that'd be really cool yes yes yeah Oops. what I ripped the sticky part off. Oh, the sticky part? I can fix it. Yeah. Yeah, 7.30 or 8, the latest. Yeah. So then it's gonna get pretty hot too. Yeah, pretty much. Dude, that's insane. It's a fucking tarantula. Oh god, should I shoot it? Well, they're pretty chill unless they get threatened. Well, what if I get threatened? Dude, that's insane. Well, I mean, hey, give me more light, fool. Sorry, I think things crawling on me now. <laughs> well, Utah is known for their uh, tarantulas. Oh, dude, that's insane. packed up tents put down lights are back in we pooped semi showered with baby wipes and dude wipes and fresh wipes and the well that's right there feel pretty fresh actually kind of glad we stayed here so the plan is just drive to Moab find campsites around there see what we find maybe jump into Colorado River not sure yet so we'll just kind of eyeball it or play by ear and see to see what we get into but it's really gorgeous here. What you hear now, it's the wild, the wild Utah barking spider. 
very loud, but very small. 